Virginia, let's go straight back to our top story. Those revelations that Australia's gun lobby spends as much on political donations per capita as America's powerful National Rifle Association. Bill Brown from the Australia Institute is the author of a new report on the influence of Australia's gun lobby. He joins us now from Canberra. Good morning to you. Good morning. What are the similarities that you've discovered between Australia's gun lobby and the gun lobby in America? The Australia Institute's research shows that Australia's gun lobby spends uh, similar amounts of money on political campaigning and political donations as the powerful NRA does in the United States of America. In particular, what we find is that there's a similar pattern of spending, uh, so that political donations, those to parties and candidates, uh, make up a relatively small amount of the expenditure, while a much larger portion goes on uh, political campaigns. I guess the question is, as it pertains to any uh, donations, how effective have those campaigns been, those donations been for the Australian gun lobby? Uh, so it's always difficult to tell exactly what purpose a donation serves or how it's directed. Uh, what we look at in particular is two state campaigns uh, in Victoria and Queensland, uh, where the Shooting Industry Foundation of Australia collected funds to spend on campaigns that uh, actually didn't mention guns at all. Uh, they focused on hot-button political issues like electricity prices instead. Uh, now, in both of those cases, there were uh, Labor governments that were returned. Uh, so it's not clear how much the spending achieved in uh, that sense. However, we know that the gun lobby uh, also makes considerable political donations to parties and has done for a number of years. And in the federal sphere, which, which party, which MPs, which senators uh, benefit the most from those do donations as far as you've been able to discover? As far as we can tell, there are two political parties that receive the lion's share of donations from the gun lobby. Uh, that's Catter's Australian Party and the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party. OK, and uh, based on what you've seen, uh, what, what are you calling for? Do you want those sort of donations crimps, abolished altogether? Uh, we'd like to see political parties reject donations from the gun lobby. Uh, that's not an unprecedented mood, move. For example, we've already seen uh, parties reject donations from the tobacco industry. In the case of uh, Greens, Labor and the Liberals, uh, for several years now they've all rejected donations from tobacco and we think that they could extend that to the gun lobby as well. The Sporting Shooters Association of Australia in response to this story says, oh hang on, we're, we're quite different from the NRA in America. Uh, we're a moderate, we are the moderate centre of representation for firearm owners in Australia and uh, we are not uh, pushing any overt political agenda. What, what do you say to that? Uh, the Sporting Shooters Association of Australia's Queensland branch uh, was one of the contributors to the Shooting Industry Foundation of Australia's uh, Queensland campaign uh, to encourage votes for crossbenchers, uh, part of a strategy for political influence. Uh, and we also see the Sporting Shooters Association uh, give a number of other political donations. So it's certainly true that they're involved in gun lobbying. Uh, and uh, I don't think that's out of the interests of their, or, you know, the kindness of their own hearts. Okay, Bill Brown, fascinating chat from the Australia Institute. Thank you so much for joining News Breakfast. Thank you.